Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about a problem which is on integration by parts. So I'll share my computer screen with you. So we will have to integrate this function 4x divided by e to the power of x dx, okay? So, you know, integration by parts takes that, write the integration by parts formula for you, which states that integration of u, integration by parts formula, integration by parts, is integration of u dv is equal to uv minus integration of v du, okay? So the trick is to find out which one will you use as uh, u and which one you will use as dp in the given function, which is 4x divided by ex dx. So let's uh, select Okay, so let's select so let us select let's select okay d v d v is equal to e to the power of minus x d x and let of course then u becomes equal to, so if this is dv, okay, uh, we can integrate this uh, to get v as integration of e to the power of minus x dx, which is equal to e to the power of minus x, okay? And of course, our u, is 4x, okay? So, which leads to, let's take it like this. So, u, uh, du is equal to just 4dx, okay? So, now if we plug it in the formula, integration of u dv is equal to uv minus integration of v du. So that will now become my u is 4x. My v is e to the power of minus x minus integration. My v is e to the power of minus x and my du is 4dx. Okay. So So this is 4x times e to the power of minus x minus integration. I can bring the 4 outside and integration of e to the power of minus x dx. And this will be equal to Four I forgot to put a minus sign over here. It should be a minus. Okay. So this will be inside parenthesis a minus. Inside parenthesis a minus e to the power of minus x. Okay. And then this will be also inside parenthesis, a minus, okay? So, um, that will be equal to minus 
don't forget the minus and there's a minus here minus e to the power of minus x and then minus 4 e to the power of minus x plus c okay so this will be minus 4x e to the power of minus x minus 4 e to the power of minus x so actually this is plus two minuses there's a minus in front of e to the power of minus x so this will be plus and then when you integrate the minus from minus x by integration that comes over here in the front and minus and plus is minus okay plus c okay and therefore i can write uh, take out the common factor minus 4 e to the power of minus x between the first two terms which will leave inside the parenthesis x plus 1 plus c where c is equal to integration constant integration constant So that is my final answer. Let's see. Okay. So let me go over the steps again. Integration by parts formula is integration of u dv is equal to u v minus v du. The trick is to select the correct u and v. Let us select dv as e to the power of minus x dx. Then we integrate to get v is equal to uh, integration of min e to the power of minus x dx. Now, when we integrate e to the power of minus x with respect to x, a negative sign comes in the front, so the answer is minus e to the power of minus x. And let us also select u. Okay, so let me write out out here. Let us select u is equal to 4x. Therefore, du is equal to 4dx. Now, we write the formula for integration by parts. Integration of u with respect to v, u dv is equal to uv minus integration v with respect to u. So, uh, let's substitute the value of u. u is equal to uh, 4x. v is minus e to the power of minus, minus e to the power of minus x. That is your V minus integration of minus e to the power of minus x multiplied by du is 4x. Now, <clears throat> uh, so the next step is, you uh, actually you can distribute the 4x to minus e to the power of minus x, the first term, and then minus, and you integrate minus e to the power of minus x that minus comes in the front and you get plus 4 integration of e to the power of minus x dx now when you integrate e to the power of minus x with respect to x there's a negative sign coming from the negative x so the second term becomes minus it becomes minus because we are integrating e to the power of minus x with respect to x so minus 4 e to the power of minus x is the second term plus c. c is the integration constant. Now we just uh, take out the common factor of minus 4 e to the power of minus x from the first two terms. And from the first term, when we take out minus 4 e to the power of minus x as the common factor, in the first term we are left with x, and the next term we are left with plus 1. And plus c, c is the integration constant. So again, the trick is to select the proper u and v in doing integration by parts. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And, you know, uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share this video with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I appreciate that. And I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.